What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be reading another devotion to y'all. 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 Um, from this indescribable book by Louis Giglio. Um, the thing about Bobby is called Unlikely Friend. God does not see the same way people see. People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 7. How would you like to hang out with a shark? Not me, but thanks for asking. Yet one fish actually hangs out with a shark all the time. It's called the remora fish. Its head is like a big flat suction cup. It suctions itself right to the shark, hanging on for the ride wherever the shark goes. When the shark eats a meal, the remora lets go and munches on the leftovers. Yummy! Sometimes it cleans the shark's body, including the shark's mouth, to get rid of any parasites or food stuck in the shark's teeth. Then the remora suctions itself back on for the next ride. The shark gets cleaned and the remora gets fed. It's a win-win for these pair of unlikely friends. Who would have thought that a shark and a fish could be friends? It just proves they really can't judge a book by its cover or a friend by how he or she looks on the outside. You've probably noticed that the world likes to judge people by their skin color, their clothes, their hair, where they're from, how much money they have, or how they talk. But God says those things don't matter, not to him, and they shouldn't matter to you either. Instead, you should look at a person's heart. Is he kind? Is she helpful? Does this person love God? That's what is really important. And when you start looking at the inside of a person instead of the outside, you just might find yourself in an unlikely but wonderful friendship. I'd stay away from those sharks, though. Lord, help me not to judge people based on what they look like on the outside. Help me instead look at their heart, just as you do. Be amazed. Caterpillars and ants are another pair of unlikely friends. The caterpillars produce a kind of sugar on their skin for the ants to eat. In turn, the ants protect the caterpillars from predators like wasps and assassin bugs. The ants get food, and the caterpillars get protection. A win-win for these bug besties. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Check out some of our other videos over here. And subscribe right here. Well, they won't appear if you're watching this very shortly after I post it, because I would have to do that. But I might be able to do it later.